For me, um, Dame Kelly Holmes was a massive role model, kind of watching her compete and, you know, looking up to someone who as well was in endurance sport. It's something that now I also notice kind of being a middle distance athlete, um, you know, a lot of people will say, are you a sprinter when I mention that I'm in athletics? So I think having role models within endurance sport was something that I found really exciting as an aspiring athlete. I know I looked up to like athletes like Marilyn Okoro. Um, and yeah, it's, it's great to kind of have those people to um, inspire you. And I think it's that kind of thing where if you can't see what, you know, um, yeah, you have to see what you kind of want to be. <laughs> I did get a lot of counseling from my parents that because I am the only black person around, as far as I was aware, because there wasn't many of us, that I would be kind of looked upon differently and that I'd be singled out whether I wanted to or not. And that any bad connotations about black people would be put on to me, so I had to dispel that. Same would apply to any good ones, and I had to live up to those. And you kind of end up sort of living up to expectations which maybe a 15 year old shouldn't be trying to meet because you're become you become the face of a race for an entire area even when that's not necessarily what's concerning you when you know you're just really just just in school yeah i, I totally agree on it i think um you kind of want to put your best foot forward all the time and present the best side of yourself because you kind of don't want those um, negative narratives to be put on yourself. Um, I don't remember a particular conversation that I ever had or my mum never kind of sat me down to kind of say that to me, but I think um, you pick up on those like social kind of uh, feels out there and um, it's definitely something that I... I try and do is, is be the best person the best version I can be of myself because um, you do have that barrier. The Commonwealth Games in Delhi is actually my favourite event I've ever done and then going into it as a power athlete and not only a black power athlete um, it was the first time I was ever in any kind of limelight and I probably look on it as probably the most enjoyable thing I've ever done. And it set up the rest of my career going forward because it gave me the confidence that I need as an athlete, but then also just being around a ton of other black athletes, I felt massively included. And then that's probably the, the reason why I'm still in the sport. The Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast, it was like an amazing experience for me as well. Um, I think because I hadn't really been part of... Um, games where you have so many different sports and it gives a, I think there's a real sense of unity and with that comes a lot of pride um, to be able to perform on the same stage as all those different other sports and follow their journeys and you know celebrate their successes too um, it was just really fun to be honest um, and yeah I felt felt that that real sense of pride and unity for sure I do love the idea of Black History Month, that it is one month where we can sit back and just remember the history of an entire race, with the good, bad, all the fantastic things, all the mistakes, all the things we can learn from. And I think Black History Month is something which should always stay, because as time goes on, people forget things. But if we always look back on Black History Month, then we can always learn from each other. We can always learn that these are some, these are things which should inspire generations to go on. And that there's a month where we can look back on our history and we can enjoy it as much as possible. We can also think about future generations and how they'll think about us. And it keeps everyone in check and keeps everyone rem remembering that we do have to continuously progress forward, if not as individuals, but also as a race together.